a grave injustice, the reality of child sexual abuse. Child sexual abuse is a painful reality. It leaves deep, lasting scars. Victims often struggle with trust, intimacy, and self-worth. The impact can be lifelong. Making light of this issue minimizes its severity. It disrespects survivors and their experiences. We must approach this topic with the utmost sensitivity. Our words have power, and we must use them responsibly. Silence and indifference only perpetuate the cycle of abuse. We must speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. We must create a culture where victims feel safe to come forward. It is our collective responsibility to protect children. We must be their advocates and allies. Let's work together to prevent abuse and support survivors. The First Amendment protects free speech. This right is fundamental to a democratic society. However, it is not absolute. There are limits to what we can say without facing consequences. Joking about child sexual abuse while potentially protected has serious repercussions. It can damage reputations, relationships, and careers. Furthermore, such humor can create a hostile environment. This is especially true in workplaces and educational institutions. It can make others feel uncomfortable, unsafe, and disrespected. Freedom of speech comes with responsibilities. We must consider the impact of our words on others. It is crucial to exercise this right thoughtfully and respectfully. The high cost of humor, social, and professional fallout. The social consequences of inappropriate jokes can be severe. Friendships can end. Family relationships may become strained. Social media backlash can be swift and unforgiving. In the professional world, the stakes are high. Jokes about child sexual abuse can be grounds for disciplinary action. This includes termination of employment. Many companies have strict policies against harassment. This includes offensive language and jokes. Violations can lead to investigations and potential legal action. It is essential to remember that our words have consequences. What we say in jest can have a lasting impact on our personal and professional lives. Section four, crossing the line. Legal ramifications of jokes gone wrong. While humor itself is subjective, certain jokes can cross legal boundaries. For example, making threats against children even in jest is a crime. Similarly, using humor to harass or create a hostile environment for someone based on their experience with child sexual abuse is illegal. Furthermore, distributing child sexual abuse material under the guise of humor is a serious offense. This includes sharing explicit images or videos, even if intended as a joke. The law takes child protection seriously. It is crucial to understand the legal implications of our words and actions, even when disguised as humor. Section five, finding our moral compass, the importance of ethical humor. Humor can be a powerful tool for connection and joy. However, it is essential to consider the ethical implications of our jokes. Making light of child sexual abuse is never acceptable. It trivializes a serious issue and perpetuates a culture of silence. We must strive for humor that is inclusive and respectful. This means avoiding topics that are likely to cause harm or offense. Let's choose humor that uplifts and unites us. Let's use our voices to promote understanding and empathy. Section six, choosing compassion, a call for empathy and understanding. Child sexual abuse is a complex and sensitive issue. It demands our compassion and understanding. Instead of making light of this tragedy, let's focus on prevention and support. Let's educate ourselves and others about the signs of abuse. Let's create safe spaces for survivors to share their stories. Let's be their allies in their journey towards healing. Our words have the power to hurt or to heal. Let's choose compassion. Let's choose empathy. Let's choose to be a voice for the voiceless.